What's up everybody? Been a little while since I've been here, but uh, I'm going to make this video for going to go a bunch of different places. So anyways, I just want to get down to it. We'll get down to why I came on tonight. So I was interested. Everybody says, what's so special about your car? What's uh, what's so special about a Hyundai Velocity? They're slow. They're this. They're that. They're, everybody wants to talk shit. So... I see as I go on Facebook and as I go on Instagram and everywhere I go, there's tons of them. A lot of us have them. And a lot of us that have them have customized them and then we show them off on the, on the internet. Um, I'm sure as we get a little deeper into this and I start going to more shows and meets and things like that I haven't really been into yet, uh, I'm sure I'll see, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'll see a bunch of them. But you go on Facebook, there's a ton of support for them. People say, well, it's not a this, it's not a that, whatever. So, anyway, so what I did was I went on the internet and I found the stats. I'm looking this way because I have a second screen up here with all the stats. So I'm going to read you in just a second. But I'm going to make this quick. So, ready? Here we go. In 2016, the Ford Mustang, everybody says it's the baddest car and there's a, it's because there's a lot of them. A lot of people have them, right? In 2016, there were 105,932 of them sold. So to compare that to the Chevy Corvette, which everybody knows is a fairly exclusive uh, hot car, right? From Chevrolet. We all got respect for Corvettes and high dollar Camaros and high dollar Mustangs and sort of the more exclusive cars. But the Ford Mustang, 105,000 and change. 2016. The Chevy Corvette, 29,995 cars sold in 2016. Another car that has a huge following, or seemingly has a huge following, the Subaru WRX. Nice car. I got nothing against it, nothing whatsoever. But what I, my point is, when you go on the lot and you see 100 Subaru Foresters, I believe that's the car, and you see how many WRXs? Three, four, five? There's a reason why there's only a few of them on the lot when you go and look. There's 33,000 sold in 2016. The Subaru ST, uh, WRX, fairly exclusive car. Then, we go to the 2016 Hyundai Veloster. So, I researched buying this car for 11 months, almost 11, 10 months solid, 10 months. Looking at this car, going to the the dealership and looking at it, I never drove one. But I'll tell you, when I went on the lot, there were two of them. And one, a used one. So there were three total. A used one and two brand new ones. And I told the guy at the lot, car lot, I wanted pearl white, no navigation, no sunroof. I didn't want all that stuff. And I had this much money to put down and this is what I wanted my payments. And they searched for a day to find my car. Came out of San Leandro. Had 124 miles on it when they delivered it to my house. Now, there were many other cars on the lot when I was there. The Hyundai Santa Fe, the Sonata, the, all these cars. There was a hundred of each one. But there was only three Velosters. The reason being is 2016, they sold 30,000. That's not, oh, they only sold 30,000 because nobody buys the car. They only produce so many of special cars. The WRX, apparently a special car. I didn't know it was that low in numbers. I would have figured a little higher. But evidently, it's more of a rare car than you think. The Hyundai Veloster, 30,000 units just in the United States. The Chevy Corvette, 29,000. The Ford Mustang, 106,000. 
I got nothing against Mustangs. I got nothing against Corvettes. I got nothing against any of these other cars. I'm just stating the facts of what the numbers say when people say, why do you think your car is so special? Because it is. Because it is. That's why. I just wanted to prove a point, and I hope you understand it. You know who I am. I'm Delmer Wood, bitches. Peace.